Tiny Games here, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another Discord Dream Snaps review video for the Fur, Feathers and Scales Dream Snap. Uh, if you haven't checked out the other part, because looking at the time now, I'm thinking that part's going to be the first part, this will be the second. Um, but yeah, if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do so. Um, but yeah, we're going to be looking over the rest of the submissions in Discord for the Dream Snaps review for Fair Feathers and Scales. I feel like I've repeated myself a lot here. Um, if you do want to be in one of these videos in the future, just join the Discord, share your Dream Snap, and you could be featured in a video just like this. Um, but why don't we head to Discord, look at what amazing creations you have all come up with, because there are some really, really good ones, um, so I'm very excited to show them off. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look. Okay, so here we are. We're going to start off with Pupster, who's put... So we went with a turtle theme this week. Luca refused to allow our avatar to be bold like a turtle. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Um, but I think it turned out okay. We couldn't get a Mickey Cloud last night, so I promised I would snap one today. But submission was an hour early uh, than expected, and I was too late, so I'm going to be in trouble when school's out. Oh, dear. Tut, tut, tut. <laughs> Here is the submission. I still think this is really, really good. I love how you framed um, the like the setup with this branch partition. Um, uh, where, where? Okay, I'm a little confused. Okay, right, because this looks like kind of like sunlit plateau, kind of like sandy path. But then where, where, where is it? This looks like the beach though. I, I'm like so confused. Where is this taken? This is incredible. I love it when people really transform the locations in their snaps to make it look like an entirely different world, an entirely new valley and things like that. I just find that so much fun. Um, so yeah, this is, this is really, really good. Um, I love that you're holding the turtle, the fact that you've kind of gone for the like turtle-esque skin um, with this new body paint option that we have and then going for the like greeny, bluey tones of like um, the shorts and the top and things like that. I just think it works really, really well. Um, obviously the, the turtle pose is really cute. I like that you've got a turtle here on the left, you've got a turtle there in the background. You've also got a turtle just here off the side of the screen. Um, but this looks like a really great turtle habitat. Um, is it going to sound really wrong if I say it kind of looks like a zoo? <laughs> That probably sounds really bad, but like that that's kind of what it makes me think of that there's this like little setup specifically for the turtles. Um I love the little seaweed um kind of like these planters, these flower vases, whatever they're called. I think that's a really nice touch and obviously using all the corals and stuff like that. Yeah, this is just a really good image. I really like this. Well done. Next up we have Chloe who's put spring is coming most of the butterflies have vanished in the poor quality but I'm really happy with the outcome and yeah that's one of the downsides to like switch it's such a shame that you know switch really does people dirty in terms of like the quality of the submissions but this is still a really really good photo okay firstly let's talk about the mickey cloud Mwah, beautiful love it love it very good um, but let's move on and actually talk about some of the other aspects of the photo. Um, so we've gone for a very spring and Easter theme here. So I love that you've used the giant like spring egg. I love all the pastel balloons. I think that's such a cute touch. You've obviously got these balloons here as well. You've got the spring stool that you can make even with the little... Um, Mad Hat, uh, teapot thingy, majiggy, <laughs> whatever it's called. Um, even the bunnies here, you've got the white bunny, you've got, I think that's the yellow bunny there. Um, I don't think I'm missing any others. I think there's only those two that I can see. Um, but either way, that looks cute. You've got the beautiful flowers here, this little picnic setup, which I think is just adorable and works really, really well. And then you're here holding the pink bunny in this coordinating outfit, which I love. Honestly, this is just like a really cute photo and I think this is gonna do really well. It deserves to, it's, it's a good photo. 
Next up, we have October Rose, who naturally has um, her submission and her husband's. So this one is gorgeous. The colours in this are so vibrant. It's really, really good. I love that you've got the rainbow fox, the white fox here. Um, we've also got the lovebird here, all these beautiful lanterns. This is just like a really pretty photo and I really, really love it. And I love the touches of pink in your own outfit to match the bird. I think that's super cute. And then this is Ray's submission and I love this. It's, it's obviously very Harry Potter vibes. Harry Potter here, Hermione and Ron in the back. This is like the Gryffindor a uh, common room if that makes sense i think that's what it's called a common room um and yeah there's just like this cute little seating area i love how this window looks it's so good really matches the aesthetic and then obviously the raven here is meant to look like hedwig the owl which i think was a very cute touch and cute interpretation so i think overall this is a really really good snap and a really cute way to make something unique Next up, we have Ev Era with this gorgeous photo. Oh my God, the, the colours in this, wow. Spectacular, I love this. The fact that the outfit is so rainbow coloured. You've used Mirabelle's Casita. Oh my God, genius, with all the multi colours in it. Oh yeah, that's, a, that's really clever. And then obviously you've got all these multi coloured birds and also the rabbit here. So you've got the um like the sunbird here the one in the background you've got the lovebird here you've got another lovebird here you've got the yellow rabbit oh this is just beautiful and so vibrant i love this this is a 4k for sure it's so stunning and uh yeah just really eye catching even mirabelle like holding the the butterfly this is a wonderful snap you've done amazingly with this Next up, we have Glitch with their submission, and I love this. I really love seeing the Fire Raven ones. They just make me so happy and excited. I think because it was a theme that I really, really wanted to do, um, or like considered doing kind of thing, I think that's what makes me excited is to see other people do this theme because it was another one that was in my head. So yeah, I love this. The use of the hair with the ears, um, even so far as doing like the yellow lipstick, genius. I love all the like the flame uh, lights in the background. I think they're really good with these like dark red trees. Even the flame coming through at the front of the picture is absolutely beautiful. I, I love this submission. I think it's incredible. Next up, we have Echo, who's put not one of my best submissions, but with being out of town for nearly the whole week of this challenge, it is pretty good. Just glad I kept this set up from one of my previous Dream Snap submissions. Not great tags either, but cannot stand those candy skirts for the life of me. Which, you know what, fine. That I think that's fair enough if you don't really like the candy skirts. But I still think this is a really, really cute submission. And this would honestly work for this week as well. Like this, like, theme part Dream Snap. This would work really well. I love how the Ferris wheel looks. Obviously the Mickey Cloud. And then the War Tower. Oh. This is bravo, bravo. I love this. This is fantastic. Um, the bird is so cute. The outfit's adorable. Yeah, this is a wonderful photo. Next up, we have Jasper with this amazing work of art. And it is so, so cute. It's so simple, right? Like, don't get me wrong. This is such a simple shot. But it's such a focus on you and the companion that I think it really, really works. Using the donut headbands, um, this kind of like florally hair, the heart uh, um, top and the cardigan and the pink skirt just matches and coordinates with the choco croc so well. This zoomed in kind of shot is just really, really good. I really like these close-ups because I feel like you can see a lot of detail which I love. I think I really kind of love these close-up shots um, compared to some of the shots that are really really far zoomed out photos because I, I just think these yeah like I said you could just see so much detail like even these little like I, I don't want to call them sparkles because they're not really sparkly but these like glowing bits that come off the croc 
just just so cute to see i love it and i feel like those uh donut headbands might have been missed if it was a further away shot so i absolutely love this photo i think you've done incredibly with this next up we have louis neil with this photo and again another bright colorful one you've got mirabelle here dancing we've got all these birds flying around wait is that a bird or is that a dragonfly that might be a dragonfly <laughs> either way there's a there's something flying there we've got this bird here which um it, I, i'm not sure what that it looks like it's fell to the ground a bit but it's so funny um but this bird this one we've got the capybaras here the flowery one we've got the brown one we've got this capybara here at the front the use of this pear tree was like just really smart and then obviously the lovebird here giving you like a gentle like peck on the cheek is really cute obviously mirabelle's casita super colorful super bright and this pink castle in the background with the little heart i'm sorry i love this like submissions like this make me realize why i will never <laughs> i will never hit rank one in dreams <laughs> because these are just so good so creative i love the fact that your outfit really coordinates with the critters and yeah i think that's just wonderful next up we have amethyst unicorn who's put i'm all about the fur babies but i love feathers too my family and i used to have a quaker parrot is it a quaker parrot uh which we called ichi named after one my mum had when she was a kid that looked an awful lot like this uh, cute little lovebird, so I had to use it. And this is so, so good. Again, another really close-up shot. And I just think you get so much detail and so much focus towards um, the character and the lovebirds. I love that this is coordinated with those green colours. I think that works really well. And just this really natural in wildlife kind of shot is just fantastic. So this one for Madison's account is really cute. And then this is... Um, Sawyer account so I think this is your main I think obviously please correct me if I'm wrong I hope I haven't gotten that backwards but let me know either way if I have I do apologize and this one I love again those kind of colors reflected this is more of like a purpley gray tone so even using Bell and Beast Castle works really really well in terms of those colors the giant Mickey cloud look at that giant Mickey cloud that is so good that is really good I love that and then you've just got this kind of like natural village in the background which I love um yeah just kind of like the focus on you and the critter so I really enjoyed that I I think these are wonderful submissions and yeah just just love these great job next up we have alley cat with their critter love submission and this is beautiful okay so we've gone for like purpley pink vibes which works because of the love bird being purple and pink the heart-shaped pink castle works really well i love this kind of like close-up detail on the bush i think it's so beautiful and then using the cherry trees mixed in with the pink uh cherry blossoms just works really really well and then using these flower planters to create this kind of like flower field is just beautiful too so I really love this submission I think it works really well and I actually really quite like this parfum this parfum looks really good here like I don't know what it is maybe it's because it's like this bright yellow I just think it works and complements the build so much so honestly fantastic job next up we have mamba jewels with her choco croc love and they've tried to make it look like a candy land world and i think it works it really does work i love that you've included the ice cream and the donuts and the candy floss like that works together really well all the um lollipops and then the uh pastel balloons and this giant spring egg just again really complements the build really well the outfit is really really cute i love that you've gone for those pink vibes again to match the choco croc and using vanellope's house is a really cute touch as well i think if i hadn't used the sweet house i would have used vanellope's in fact when i was setting up my original build i wanted to have it like at a diagonal but i just couldn't get the shot to work so i ended up just focusing on the candy house um rather than including Vanellope's as well so I think Vanellope's house works really well for this style of 
uh, Snap uh, using the Choco Croc. And of course, we can't leave without mentioning the Mickey Cloud, which looks amazing, of course. And I do love that the sky reflects some of the colours. We've got those kind of like purpley pink tones. So again, just a really cohesive uh, submission. Okay, next up we have Winter Dragonfly and we've got um, two snaps for Winter Dragonfly. So we have this account, which is really cute with the little foxes. We've got the little black one, the one in the backpack and the one here. Using bells like lounging pillows is really good. I like these lounge pillows. I think they're really, really cute actually. I know they're... Um, they're very similar to the um, the tangled ones, but I do think this is cute. And I love this setup with all these arches. Oh, this is beautiful. This is actually the kind of like setup I want to do for my frosted heights, um, where it kind of looks very fairy core esque and stuff like that. I love this. The vibes in this photo are adorable. Um, yeah, this is just a beautiful submission. So well done on this one. And then for your backup account, this is another really, really good shot. I actually think this is going to do way better than 300 Moonstones because you and the parrot are perfectly matching. The scene is matching. There is a story here. All these like dinghy boats and the big Eric ship in the background. This, um, yeah, this is just a really cohesive image. I think this is a fantastic submission. I think it was a very clever choice to go down this route. I think it's going to stand out a lot of the against a lot of the submissions because it's a very unique idea. Yeah, I think this is wonderful. Honestly, th this is great. This is going to get you a decent amount of moonstones. I guarantee it. Next up, we have Otto with um, his submission. And here we go. We've got all these birds. Oh my God, this is so good. We've got the love bird here. We've got another one here. We've gone for like the bird feather hat. And I think the outfit coordinates with it very nicely. We've got the fire raven here in the background. There's probably some other birds that I can't see. <laughs> But I think overall, this is really, really good. This is a very cloudy sky. I don't think I've seen the, the sky like this cloudy. At first, I was trying to work out if it was a giant Mickey cloud, but I'm not 100% sure. But either way, this is wonderful. I think this is a really different and unique perspective and take. And I love seeing kind of like all the buildings in the background. Like we've got the mushroom house, we've got Casita, we've got the... Um, like the pink castle here. Yeah, this is just a really cool shot. Next up, we have Punchly, uh, Punchy LaRue with their submission. And this is so cute. The outfit is so coordinated to the lovebird. We've gone for all the pink vibes here, which I think is really complimentary. We've got one of the sunbirds in the background here. We've got this beautiful framing with these um, flowers. We've got the flowery capybara. We've got casita, which works really well in terms of the bright, vibrant colours. I think this is an absolutely wonderful submission. It looks aesthetic. You coordinate really well with the bird. And yeah, I think this is wonderful. Next up, we have Strawberry Blonde with their submission. And this is super cute. Okay, so we've got the bunny running along the front, which I think is going to be very eye-catching for a lot of... Uh, Voters, we have the flowery capybara, we have the little gingerbread rabbit, we have the regal fox, oh they're so pretty and then we have the little fox in the background, super cute, very adorable, um, I know it's a shame we didn't get to see the face makeup but I think this was the right angle in terms of the shot and the direction to take it from, um, I love that Wally's in the background, I love Wally, Wally's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wally is adorable and then we do have Vanellope obviously but yeah I think this is a wonderful submission again one of those close-up shots where you really get a lot of detail and everything like that so I think this is wonderful and will do really well for you next up we have Flame G um Flame G who's put no inspiration these weeks but this is cute look how adorable this is this is so so cute we've got the two lovebirds here I'm trying to work out because it's like you're in the pose for like the like when they peck the cheek but like there isn't a bird next to you 
Maybe the movements got out of sync or something. I don't know. But either way, it looks really, really cool because your character looks really animated. And it looks like it's all these, you know, birds flying around you and stuff like that, which is really cool. I love the little fox kind of like peeking over and the pink bunny here. I think that's a really cute touch. Obviously, using the two heart houses, that was clever to turn your main house into another pink heart castle was a really cool touch i love this i think this is gorgeous the framing with these pillars is lovely yeah this is just a really good submission now next up we have the submission i made for my husband now this isn't a unique submission i know there's other people who have done like trash panda alleyways um for this dream snap challenge I didn't try to copy anyone or anything like that, but my husband, like his favorite animal is a trash panda, it's raccoons. We have like raccoon artwork and everything like that. So I knew I had to do something with the raccoons and obviously with them being trash pandas, I really wanted to go down the, like, you know, the synonymous trash panda route. And not only that, but my husband is a fan of Monsters, Inc. It's nice to find some Disney films that he enjoys. And so I kind of wanted to use a lot of the Monsters, Inc. items. So I've used some of these um, snack machines. And actually, I really like the outer service one because I think it adds a bit of sort of variety in how it looks. Even though they're like the same machine virtually, I just think it adds that little bit of extra detail. Um... This is just a filing cabinet. I just wanted the back of this alleyway to be kind of like cluttered with maybe like trash, um, things like that. So this is meant to be like, I'm pretending it's like a generator powering like the restaurants or the buildings. So all the buildings here, I've tried to use the like the back sides of them rather than like the front. So it does feel like an alleyway. Um, I did try to hide the companion house. I didn't do a very good job. I do apologize. <laughs> but we have the companion house there with a raccoon at the front of it. We have a raccoon face. <laughs> like slamming his face into the wall. Um, we have this raccoon. He's actually eating at the companion bowl. Which I tried to hide behind this pile of socks. Because I wanted it to look like he was rummaging in the socks. And I think it came across fairly well. We have these two raccoons, which actually were um, from the main, like, because I built this in the Forest of Valor, I just fed them um, so that they would stay seated. And then I just have to nudge them into, like, a position. But I love that this one looks like a scheming raccoon. Um, same, uh, this one just looks fun, and this one looks like he's trying to raid the... Um, snack machine that's kind of the vibes i got um i quite like this filter because i think it added a bit of darkness to the shot but i like the kind of cool lighting effect from it now onto the main outfit and character um i wanted to go with those kind of like darker vibes with the outfits to match the uh raccoons i went with the ears again to kind of match and uh, coordinated and I wanted to go for a more like wild kind of hairstyle um, not really to match the fur but to kind of go alongside it um, now unfortunately the uh, socks are literally there for tags they're not there for any other reason um, I do wish I'd used the mask I don't know if Phoebus even has the mask but I've seen some other people do um, raccoon submissions when i've been voting and stuff like that and they've got the the like incredibles face mask and it creates that kind of like darker patch that runs over their eyes such a clever touch if i'd have thought of that i'd have i'd have done that um but yeah overall i think this is an okay submission i hope it does well i hope it's well received i always feel that pressure when it comes to dream snaps for phoebus because even though disney dreamlight valley isn't like a big game he's super into i like to think that if he trusts me to make a dream snap i do something pretty good <laughs> so fingers crossed this does well next up we have princess star butterfly who's done who's put decided to go alice in wonderland can you spot all the animals here 
And this is really cool. I love this. I love the Alice in Wonderland vibes. I think that's really cool. Um, I don't know if the like plushies meant to represent like the little dormouse that's in the little teacups and in the tea and stuff in the um like the Mad Hatter and March Hare like teapot scene. Obviously, you're dressed as the Cheshire Cat, which I think is genius. A really great way to kind of like match the critter but not match like you are your own individual critter <laughs> creation um but you've got the the white bunny here the white rabbit which i think is super cool i think that's really smart we've got alice here we have um the mad hatter and the march hare um I'm not sure if that. I assume there aren't any other critters in here because this is an indoor submission. My only thought would be if there was like these cardboard ones, but I don't actually see enough of the cardboard to tell what they are. But I love this. I think this is a really fun submission and a really unique take on the challenge. Next up, we have Kamikaze. Kami! This is really good. Okay, again, a very simple shot. But the focus is on you and the critter, the companion, and you coordinate really beautifully with like the blue colours, some of the purple tones from the skirt, even your hair like coordinating. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it works really, really well. The shot is just aesthetically like really pretty, but I love that the focus is on you and the companion and I think this is cute. I think it's cute. So yeah, great job on this. Next up we have Next Phoenix with this submission. And I really, really like this. Look at this close up of the bird right at the front. Such a good touch. You've got the little pink crocodile, the pink bunny. You've got the love bird. Like obviously pink is a very um, sort of central theme in this photo. The outfit's very pink, which coordinates nicely with the love bird. I love that we've gone for a very romantic kind of like setup with the uh, the swans, the pink heart castle in the background, all the fountains and arches, even the flowers, the colours on them and even this harvester's bed looks kind of cute. It works with the scene and obviously the little bunny eating at the little companion table is really, really cute. I think this is a gorgeous submission. Even the flecks of pink in your hair just work really, really beautifully. So I think this is a wonderful submission. Next up, we have Nina with this submission. And this submission is really, really fun. I love how you've got like the houses set up here. I love the colors of your outfit, all the purples, the blues and greens, which I think coordinate quite nicely with all the critters. You know, you've got the rainbow fox here. You've got this kind of like bluey toned, um, raccoon here you've got the uh, blue fox in the background you've got this little bunny you've got the red croc this is really cute even the like colorful bird here there's a green one in the background oh you've got the love bird here too i almost missed that there is a love bird here as well like yeah this is just a really cute shot i love all the sparkles at the front the framing with these flowers yeah this is just really really beautiful and i think this is an amazing submission Next up we have Henry and I did watch Henry create some of this on stream. I don't get to watch all of Henry's streams because usually it's uh, towards my bedtime <laughs> that Henry streams due to time zones and things like that. But I really, really like this. I like all the um, lily pads in the background. I think that's so cute. And then all the foxes. You've got the black fox, you've got the red fox, you've got the white fox. We've got the fox in the backpack. We've got the fox here to the right. And you've coordinated your outfit to match the fox with the, the orange uh, ginger hair and the white um, like framed fringe at the front. That's just so good. And I love how that hair looks. I think it's really cute. And then you've even used the like cat ears as well to replicate kind of almost like a fox ear. I love the like picnic setup and everything with like the sandwich, the little table. You've got the cute little um, companion Pixar balls and feeding dishes here. This is a gorgeous submission. The colours are lovely. The use of the orange and red just complements this whole snap. So I think this is a wonderful submission. 
Next up we have Beckons who's put, I used to love the crocodiles the most, but now I love the capybaras the most and I wanted Rapunzel to tag along. And this is really cute. I love the coordination with the flowery capybara with the braid. You've got the matching braid. You've used this kind of like cat face makeup detail to kind of showcase that animal kind of detail. Even the ears as well works really well. What I love about this is the, the cappies kind of doing their own things. We've got a couple here that are eating. We've got this one playing with the ball. And this one here, which is like jumping, but it looks like he's trying to do art. Like, that, that's the vibes it gives me. This, this cappy is ready to paint. Like, this is so cute and so fun. Um, Obviously, Rapunzel's adorable. And I think Rapunzel matches well with the flowery cappy and your character. And obviously all the purple tones complement each other very well. And um, even the purple in the rug to match your outfit, the cappy and even Rapunzel. So I think this is a wonderful submission. It's really beautifully framed. I think this is going to do extremely well. Now next up we have Cole and his final submission. And oh, take my breath away. What a submission. This, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Okay, so I love that you've gone with the grey colours, like, even in the hair to the, to the, like, the outfit and everything to match with the fox is so smart. The fact that you've got a crown, the fox has a crown. Oh, I'm sorry, but what? What? No, this is beautiful. This is, like, art. This is art. This is pure art. I love this. I absolutely adore this. This is 100% one of my favourites of the community members and there's a lot of incredible submissions here and this is definitely up there in my favourites. I absolutely adore this picture 100%. It's just so beautiful. The vibes are immaculate. I, yeah, I love this. Great job. Next up we have Emmy who's gone for this very underwater vibe and oh my god. This is so good. Okay, right. To use the scuba-like hat to make it look like you're underwater with the um, the little sea turtle, the glowing sea turtle, all the luminescent vibes like from the hearts on the turtle to these drop pillars to the bioluminescent palms. Oh, it just coordinates really well. And then even using these like scaly pants, I just think works really, really well. Um, these to represent the seaweed, you've got Ariel who obviously is a mermaid. Yeah, this is just a really incredible shot. It's really unique and I think this is a fantastic one. This is really, really good. Next up we have Cat Submission and this is really, really good. They're like abandoned shipwreck in the background. We've got these stools on the side as well which work really nice. Even Donald's boat just like is a really cool setup and it works really well with the turtle companion for giving those kind of like sea vibes. But what I also love is this bird like in front of the sun like that's just a really pretty shot i think this is really cute really aesthetic really bright and vibrant and i think this is really cool next up we have miss cupcake who's put team feathers and this is so cute i love how you've used these little birds here honestly the framing of this picture is so beautiful with the swans in the background as well like that's such a good touch and like these pink vibes follow through with obviously the pink of the bird and then all the flowers as well. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous submission. I think you've done incredible here. Yeah, this is just lovely, beautiful submission. Next up we have Bagelrina here with this submission and I love this. It's a very colourful submission, very kind of like fairy core vibes. I love the Mickey cloud in the distance. What I also want to know, okay, right, this looks like the floating lanterns. What is this? How come there's this sparkle? These are bigger than these sparkles, no? It's not coming from the dreamlight tree, is it? Or is it? Is it actually just like the sparkles and they look like literal floating lanterns? I am so confused by this. Like, so, so confused. <laughs> it's baffling, but I love it in front of the Mickey cloud. Um, all the lights is very, very cute. And what I really like is 
the way you've timed this shot. So you have switched very quickly to hold your companion to take this shot, right? And you've got the sparkle trail from the choco croc from where it would have been lifted up. Oh, that's genius. That is so good. And just really adds to the colors here and everything like that. I think this is a wonderful submission and really bright and vibrant. And I love how your outfit is really colorful to coordinate with the choco croc. Next up, we have silver ears with their Royal Fox inspired regal outfit. And this is so gorgeous. Oh my God. This is so good. Honestly, it's so beautiful. I love this. I love the flowers at the front. I love the silver dress to match with the fox using the crown, the arches in the background. Oh, this is a stunning submission. This is definitely, you know, princess fairy in the royal gardens kind of vibe. Oh, it's so stunning. It's so, so good. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's fantastic. You've done amazingly with this. This is beautiful. Oh, yeah. A beautiful submission. This is so good. Next up, we have Nolan with their submission, which has a total of 30 companions. What? I am sorry, but what? This is a number one submission if I ever saw it, right? Because this is just incredible. The amount, I can't imagine anyone sees this photo, sees the amount of companions and doesn't vote for it. This is incredible. Um, Obviously, the Mickey Cloud is just chef's kiss. That is incredible. The lovebird here at the front, the monkey here, the other lovebird. We have Pua, we have the three Easter bunnies, the blue, the yellow, the pink. We have the citrus turtle, we have the zero fox companion. We have the, um, this turtle, the new one that came in the star path. We have the flowery capybara. We have this raccoon, we have the incredible squirrel. We have the robot companion. We have a gray raccoon, we have the choco croc. We have the like patchwork raccoon, we have the red striped cappy, we have a grey raccoon, we have the jester monkey, we have the rainbow fox, we have a regular raccoon, we have this cute suited um, rabbit, we have the dark squirrel, we have this snake, we have the fire bird, we have the pirate bird, we have a sunbird here, we have another sunbird here. There's probably a ton of other critters that I just, for the life of me, am not seeing right now. But, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is just incredible. I think the work Nolan goes into in creating their submissions is mind-blowing. It's it's just mind-boggling. Um, I was trying to coordinate six critters in the shot I did for Phoebus with all the raccoons and stuff and it just it obviously I struggle to get them to, to do stuff together and stuff like that how I wanted um but yeah I, I I I sort of got something going anyway um but yeah the work that goes into this I I don't think anyone could argue that you know th this this is pure dedication, pure work and skill, to be honest. <laughs> Just pure skill. This is a wonderful submission. It's a wonderful shot. I think it's a wonderful summary of Critter Love. To be honest, I really feel like, you know how we have those kind of like title snapshots or whatever they're called where they um show the new theme. This, this is a kind of Critter Love, this is a banner that I would use for a Critter Love kind of submission, fur feathers and scales kind of thing. This just really, I feel like, uh, yeah, it just everything's in here, everything's in here. This is incredible and honestly, credit to Nolan for the hard work that they've put in because this is just wonderful. I do also very quickly... Nolan's got some old versions here and I wanted to show them. Um, I wanted to show them because, again, I do think sometimes it's okay showing older versions of submissions. 
um, because they can be great inspiration for later. So this is another really good one. Look, you've got the bunny jump in. Look at how these critters are flying. Even Mirabelle with the butterfly in the hand. Yeah, this is incredible. I love this submission. We have this one, which is again very submit. Uh, <laughs> similar, just slightly different critters and or or more critters, I should say. I think, um, but a similar kind of setup. This is more akin to what you currently have, but there's more um, like individuals around, more of the valley members and less of the critters. Um, this one has less of the valley members, but I think less of the critters or the critters are less organized or something like that. It's still a very, very beautiful shot though. Um, this one's more of a daylight shot. Again, I guess this was taken not long after the other one. And then I guess this is what, oh, sorry, didn't mean to click off it. <laughs> this is another one of your submissions before the final, very similar to the final one, just slightly different in terms of like, not layout, but like obviously how the critters are organized and stuff like that. So honestly, I think this is fantastic. I think you've done amazingly with this. I know I've probably spent half an hour just talking about this one submission, <laughs> but yeah, this was incredible. So great job. Next up we have Emmy Bouquet with their submission and I love this, all the kind of like, almost like jungly kind of vibes but I love how you've gone for like the crocodiles. So we've got the uh, the white crocodile, the pink crocodile and the blue crocodile and then I love how you've kind of matched that with your character going for this like blue skin with the kind of like scaly effect and then even using the snake hair just complements it really, really well. I think this is a wonderful submission. I love it. I think aesthetically it looks really cool. Honestly, this, I mean, this is the plaza, right? But it looks like it could be a completely different world or valley. It looks really, really good. I love this setup and everything like that. I think it's incredible. And there is a snake also here in the background, which I think also works really well especially with the snake hair so definitely very scaly vibes i love this i think this is an incredible submission and then last but not least we have gamer mama with this submission and this is beautiful i love the rows of the flowers here i think they work really really nicely the colors are very complimentary this whole pink outfit to match with the lovebirds, very cute. This archway in front of the house is adorable. I think I mentioned this in another video or a previous uh, submission that I love how this arch kind of matches the curvature that you have with like some of these windows with the hearts and stuff like that. I think this is a beautiful submission. I think the colours are very cohesive. The sky looks wonderful. Even the pink lamps. Uh, lamps? <laughs> lanterns lamps i think that's what i was saying lamps um yeah it just all complements each other very nicely i think this is a gorgeous gorgeous submission so well done on that and there we have it that's all the submissions from discord for the fur feathers and scales dream snap challenge you all knocked it out of the park i think again we're gonna have another week with loads of 4k winners because you guys are in incredible honestly great job everyone um it was so much fun looking over your submissions i really enjoyed it again if you're not part of the discord and want to be included in next week's videos come join come post your dream snaps and you can see yourself in a video like this soon but anyway thank you all for watching i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you all in the next one bye guys